Jurassic Park star Sam Neill says he's being treated for stage 3 blood cancer. Actor Sam Neill, known for his roles in the Jurassic Park films and Peaky Blinders, is being treated for stage 3 blood cancer. In an interview about his upcoming memoir, Did I Ever Tell You This?, published Friday by The Guardian, Neil opened up about his diagnosis last year, saying he is cancer-free, but will continue to receive chemotherapy. Neil's memoir will have a spiral thread about his experience with the disease, according to the outlet. The actor told the outlet that he had experienced dark moments as he underwent chemotherapy. More, Laura Dern, Sam Neil discussed 20-year age gap of their Jurassic Park romance. Those dark moments throw the light into sharp relief, you know, and have made me grateful for every day and immensely grateful for all my friends, he said. Just pleased to be alive. Neil was diagnosed with angioimmunoblastic T-cell lymphoma, according to The Guardian. According to the Lymphoma Research Foundation, angioimmunoblastic T-cell lymphoma is the rare, often but not always, aggressive, fast-growing form of peripheral T-cell lymphoma. AITL is one of the more common subtypes of T-cell lymphomas, according to the Lymphoma Research Foundation, and elderly patients are more likely to be diagnosed with it. Symptoms of AITL include high fever, night sweats, skin rash, and autoimmune disorders such as autoimmune hemolytic anemia, AIHA, and immune thrombocytopenia, ITP, according to the foundation. Treatment for AITL includes chemotherapy, hematologic transplant and or endocrine procedures, or hormone therapy, according to the National Cancer Institute. According to The Guardian, Neil said he first experienced swollen glands during publicity for Jurassic World Dominion in March 2022 and was diagnosed with AITL not long after. The actor received chemotherapy, but when that started to fail, he embarked on a new chemotherapy drug which he will continue to receive monthly for the rest of his life, although he is now cancer-free, the outlet reported. In his memoir, according to The Guardian, Neil writes that he is possibly dying and that he may have to speed this up. He told the outlet that writing the book gave him a reason to live. I would go to bed thinking, I'll write about that tomorrow, that will entertain me, he said. And so it was a lifesaver really, because I couldn't have gone through that with nothing to do, you know. Neil, who was from New Zealand, first got his start in acting in New Zealand television. He appeared in several TV movies and projects. His breakthrough performance was in the 1977 film Sleeping Dogs, which was screened abroad. More, a look back at Jurassic Park 25 years later. The actor's first international role was in the 1981 film Omen 3, The Final Conflict. He went on to star in a number of films, including Dead Calm, Bicentennial Man, and The Hunt for Red October, but it was his role as Dr. Alan Grant in Jurassic Park, alongside Laura Dern and Jeff Goldblum, that made him a household name. Neil was nominated for an Emmy in 1998 for his role in Merlin. He was also nominated in 2017 for narrating New Zealand, Earth's Mythical Islands. The actor has three children, a son named Tim Neal, whom he shares with ex-partner and actress Lisa Harrow, a daughter named Elena Neal, whom he shares with ex-wife and makeup artist Nariko Watanabe, and Watanabe's daughter from a previous marriage, Michael Spencer, whom Neal adopted. While Neal is still receiving treatment for the disease, his agent told GMA that Sam is very well and back at work. He's currently working on the limited series Apples Never Fall, in which he will star alongside Annette Bening.